Hey, happy Father's Day week to all you fathers out there. In this episode, Jim and I are going to talk about our top five favorite movie dads. All right, welcome to You Gotta See This Movie, a podcast of two guys who like to talk about movies as well as the deeper things that make these stories more than just a movie. Uh, If you're into that sort of thing, then please like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Jim, happy Father's Day week to you. Happy Father's Day week to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what What do you like to do on Father's Day? Watch a movie, sit around, eat, about it. You know what's funny? Like, I feel like throughout my whole life, my kids will have it easy to get me a Father's Day gift. Just get me a movie. Just a movie. Yeah. Just get me a movie. That's all you got to do. Yeah. 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 It's super simple. Yeah. So Mother's Day, that's rough. That is super yeah. rough. Yeah. But Father's Day, that's easy. Yeah. What does dad want to do? Nothing. 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 Give me a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, should we go to a restaurant? No. 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 Just uh, just stay home. You get a barbecue? No. No. That, that's work. <laughs> yeah. Pizza. Give me pizza. Movie. Give me a movie. Couch. Yep. TV exactly. remote. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about our top five favorite dads. But we we just talked about before we started, uh, you know, rolling. We talked about a, a deadbeat dad that we thought like could be on our list, but then we both thought at the same time like, nah, this guy shouldn't be a, a good dad. Yeah. And it's uh, uh Arnold Schwarzenegger from Jingle All the Way. Yeah, because you think he redeems himself at the no. end, but he really doesn't. Well, well, Not he really. Puts on a suit. Yeah. He flies around. Yeah. And thinks he's like, oh, I'm the best dad now in the world. Yeah. No, he doesn't. No. 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 no not at all. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, great movie. I love the movie. But no, he he is he it just, a great movie? I, I like the movie. It, I liked I watch it. it. I like it. I I do like it, but yeah. I don't think it's a great movie. Yeah, maybe not. No. Maybe it's not great. But it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, deadbeat dad. Deadbeat dad. Your your top five deadbeat dads. All right, dads. well, let's talk about our top five favorite dads. Uh, do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right. So, wait, wait. Before we what? start. Yeah. How many dads do you think we're going to get? Same. I think list? we're going to get, based on what I pick, probably one. Okay. One. One. I thought maybe two, but okay. okay. All right. All right. Go for it. All right, my uh, number five, starting off at number five, is Tom Bueller. Tom Bueller. Father of Ferris Bueller. Oh, okay. I know he didn't have much of a role in that film, but I just loved his personality. You know, his care and concern for Ferris. You know, have a bowl of soup. Wrap a a hot towel around your head and, uh, you know, get some rest, pal. Right. Yeah. He knew his son can do no wrong. Right. Right. It's super easy going, mm-hmm. like super easy going. Like, like when he's, you know, driving down the street and somebody cuts him off, he's just like, you know, Hey, no problem. You know, just kind of, <laughs> you know, just cool, easy going. Right. Yeah. That's a good Tom, choice. Tom Bueller. That's really good. Yeah. No, not one of mine. All right. And your, what's your number, number five? five for me. And so I'm going to do things a little bit different. Um, how I'm going to reveal my top. Because you're going to show off your DVD collection, yeah. yeah, your physical media. Listen. Look, I would have brought... Okay. Okay. Well, let's... From now on. Okay. But I'm always looking for an excuse to talk about my collection, to okay. show off my collection. So here's my number five, Dad. And you yeah. probably haven't seen... I think you've seen this movie, yes. Yeah. But it is Duke Leto Atreides. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of on a newer dad. That, yeah, that's a that's a brand new dad. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Uh man, why I chose this guy. First off, you know, he's I I I, I just like this character. And this is kind of the reason why I like this movie better than the second one. The second one was great, amazing, but I just really liked his character and I, w- I wanted to see more of it. All right. But um it came down to one line in the movie that really like I don't know, as a dad, really just like cut me to the core. Ooh. And, you know, it's the whole idea that, you know, Paul's not sure that he wants to be this leader. 
And, but his dad's like, but you're kind of destined for this, uh, but you're going to have to want to do this. Um, and kind of relating to him saying like, you know, I didn't want the job either. Um, but we kind of have to do it. Yeah. He says, but whatever you choose, just know that you're, you'll, you'll be the only thing I've ever required you to be. And that's just be my son. Huh? And I'm just like, Oh, Oh, that gets, me. that gets me. Yeah. All right. Because you know, I, you know, with my own kids and just even my son in particular, like I'm a huge sports guy. My son is not. Mm. Yeah. He wants nothing to do with sports, which mm. you going to save that. You're going to save that quote for yourself. And you, you know, you but no, it's a good day. reminder. It's, it's good. It's a good reminder. Like, you know what? I don't care if he doesn't like sports. The only thing I want him to be is my son. Yeah. You're going to use that line. And then yeah. years later, he's going to watch the movie and say, wait a minute. You just <laughs> stole that from the movie. I, I think my kids are going to do that with a lot of movies. A lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty common. That I, I thought my dad was this think. deep philosophical <laughs> right. man, man of, of many words. And all he's doing is repeating movie lines. Yeah. 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 No, they're, 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 yeah. That's good. All right. What's your number four? Number four. Uh, do we do the actor name first or the character name first? Oh, shoot. Character. Let's do character. Character. First. Okay. Yeah. Uh, John Hickam. John Hickam. Okay. Played by Chris Cooper. October Sky. Oh, October Sky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's a coal, so, mi- he's a coal miner okay. and he's, yeah, and, 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 he's and he's gruff, you know, okay. and he's kind of, you know, he kind of expected his son to follow him in his footsteps and, you know, be the miner, but, um. He had a good heart, though, and I think yeah. that even though they, they, they knocked heads and they kind of battled, there was something about him that I really liked. Um, they did deeply, deeply care about Homer, even though they didn't see eye to eye. Right. I mean, it kind of comes together at the end-ish, you know? Yeah. But I, I just, I think I really liked his character and who he was. I can't know if you yeah. can say he was the best dad, because he was you know what I mean? But... He did what he felt was necessary. Yeah, and he, you know, he right. pushed him and discouraged him, thinking that he was doing something, you know, yeah, foolish. Kind of like a, you know, he, he, he was like a little heavy on the tough love thing, mm-hmm. you know. But anyways, I like his character. Yeah, I like the actor. I like his character. That's my number four. All right, that's number. That, that, that's that's a good. That's a good pick. Um, Chris Cooper plays mm-hmm. him. I think he's a great actor. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. Garrett, no, everything he does. Um, all right, yeah, that's a good pick. Good pick. All right, number four for me. Right now, the the basket of DVDs. Yeah. Now we, I did say. I mean, you're smiling. Well, because we had this conversation, is like, hey, let's talk about favorite dads, and then I thought I said, hey, we could also like just do father figures, maybe not a dad. And then I said, and no, like, let's no. just make it dads. And then I said, oh, but in my head, we we're still doing father figures. All right. So this guy, although not a dad, mm-hmm. father figure. Okay. And um, is Mr. Miyagi. Oh. By Pat Morita. That's good. Yeah. He's not a dad. Not a dad. No. But he uh, definitely was a dad in this movie. And you know, what I love about these, these films, these karate kid movies is he's a father figure that doesn't overstep his boundaries as far as like being the father figure. Like they, 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 they have this relationship that is also friendship, right? Like they're, well, you know why he didn't overstep the boundaries? Cause he wasn't his father. Cause he wasn't his father. I don't know. But, but if, if he was his father, I, I think that he would have been the same. Right. Yeah. But but even too, like, you know, when their relationship was established and like he really could have like forced things because he did have that place in, in Daniel's life, he didn't. And he let Daniel figure things out on his own and um and just even in in this first movie, just the whole idea of like, you know, why train for karate, why do you want to learn? All this kind of stuff and he was like, Because I want to fight, you know, and they're like, no, that's not what it's about. But then he realized uh, this guy's going to keep getting his butt kicked. If I don't, I need to teach him something. Um, but, but yeah, no, I, I, I love their whole relationship. And, um, and then when you get into the, the second one, when um, Mr. Miyagi's dad dies, 
And, you know, Daniel has this whole um, conversation with him sitting on the beach talking about how when Daniel's dad died and how they can relate. And I don't know, just that's one of my favorite scenes in all the movies Hmm. is that scene with them on the beach and them just kind of being being there for each other. But Daniel's son. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel's son. But yeah, he is my number four favorite dad. All right. Great. Number three. We probably share this one. I'm hoping we share this one. <laughs> Clark Griswold. Clark Griswold. Yes. Okay. Yes. Played by Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. In these series of vacation movies. Yes. Uh, four vacation movies? We got uh, Vacation. Vacation. There's like three Europe, vacation. Christmas. Vegas. I think that's it. And then there's the vacation movie that he's in it a little bit. But not but it's as about Rusty's family, right? Which wasn't right, very good. Yeah. It wasn't a very good movie. Yeah, yeah. The dad, he plays a part of the dad, mm-hmm. the fun dad, the fun dad. Yes, the uh, inspiring dad. The, yes. <laughs> the dad who wants to to do everything for his kids. Yes, and be the best dad in the world. Yeah, Clark Griswold. Yeah, I don't want to say too much because maybe he's on my list. But. Well, I know he is. <laughs> I don't. I don't know which. I don't know which number, but okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Number three for me. And this is technically the wrong movie, but my kids destroyed the case for the, for the one that I wanted to show off. But you'll get the idea. Okay. It is Mufasa from The Lion King. Oh, cartoon dad. Yeah, but oh. this is the live action. But oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, but, I, didn't, uh, I never saw the live action one. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. But oh, yeah. what I meant was the cartoon dad, Mufasa, you know, tragic story. He, he needed to die to set the story in motion because the movie's about Simba. But, um, man, I remember seeing this as a kid and just loving the character Mufasa. First off, I don't know what the technology is, but he sounds just like Darth Vader. I don't know. But, so imagine Darth Vader as a good dad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, uh, <laughs> as a joke, by the way, I think people are going to be like, oh, mm-hmm. they don't know the, the same act. Anyways. Yeah. There's people out there like that. Um, but, uh, they'll, they'll let us know in the comment. Yeah. They'll let us know. Um, they, uh, or he, I just like the whole, like that scene where they're, where Simba, he, you know, he deliberately disobeyed him. And yet, Mufasa was so stern, but yet so loving. And so like, I'm taking the time. I'm not here just to yell at you. You did a bad thing, but he took the time. Like you need to understand that, you know, I was scared. I don't want to lose you that. Yes. My anger, my, my anger came out of my fear. Anyways, it was just a really cool scene. And, it's the last touching moment that Simba has with his dad before he uh, you know, falls. Circle of life. Circle of life. Yeah. But, but I don't know. Yeah, that was, that was something that always stuck out with to me as a kid. Like, oh, that was good. That was good. But yeah, so he is number three. Number three. All right. Ready for number two? Yeah. All right. This is one uh, most people probably won't know. Uh, Ray Stoller. Ray Stoller, okay. played by Paul Dooley. Do you remember? Y'all don't think you remember? No. No, he is the father to a, a young man who was obsessed with uh, Italian bicycles and Italian oh, racing. Okay, yeah, okay, I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, from the about. 1979 movie Breaking Away. Breaking Away. Yeah, yeah. Great dad. I mean, it starts off. He, you know, his son is basically learning Italian and racing Italian bikes and pretending he's Italian. And he's an all American dad, retired stone cutter thinks is his kid has just, uh, gone off the deep end. Can't relate to him. Doesn't know how to deal with him. Afraid to talk to him, yeah. you know, but, uh, through the, through the movie and, and the events that, that happened, they, they become to, they, they come to, uh, connect with each other and have some heartfelt moments. And, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's a movie you got to see. Breaking Away. Yeah, that is a good movie. That yeah. that was a movie I watched for the first time based on your recommendation. Mm-hmm. I 
I've heard about it. And to be honest, I kind of thought it was a different type of movie. Yeah. Um, but I remember you talked so highly of it and I finally was like, oh, well, I'm going to watch. I think it's a really good father, yeah. father, son movie, you know, when they, you know, they come together at the end and, and the dad just, uh, comes to support his son for who he is and, mm-hmm. and for what he's doing. And, and the son you know, has a new respect for his, you know, for his dad. I don't know. Yeah. And it's incredibly funny. Very funny yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was like your, my generation had the movie rad. And then that was your generation's bike movie. Did you ever see rad? Yeah. But I don't know if this was really a bike movie as much as it was just, I thought it was just more based on the, the characters, not really the race bike racing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still centered around bike racing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It was a coming of age movie. It was definitely coming. Definitely of age. Com- yeah. Searching for uh, life, your uh, goals in life, and who you are, and yeah, yeah, breaking away, breaking away. Highly recommend it. Okay, so my final two um, are based off of like. So number one is the dad that I want to be, the okay. dad that I want to aspire to be. Oh, okay. Number two is probably closer to the dad that I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and probably won't live up to that. So number two was no, okay. the one that we both agreed on, oh. Clark Griswold. Okay. Absolutely great, great guy. And what DVD do you have? Oh, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> Clark, Clark Griswold is, and I find myself almost doing the same thing. Like he, he kind of makes things a bigger deal than they should be. Yeah. Right. He's looking yeah. for, he's forcing moments yeah. instead of having them naturally come. And I feel like, right. like I do that sometimes with my kids yeah. and, or like I, I, you know, I'm excited. I'm all excited about something. I'm jazzed and I want to experience with my kids and my kids are like, eh. Whatever, Dad. Whatever. We're gonna go get our Christmas tree. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and he's not. Yeah, he's by far the perfect. He's not. He's not perfect at all. And I think, you know, we all can all relate to being not being the perfect dad because none of us are. But mm-hmm. um, it almost as if sometimes, and I think me, I know me. I'll speak for myself that like our intentions to be a good dad um might outweigh what really needs to be done i guess yeah i'm not i'm not saying that right like like he he um yeah he's more focused on like the experience right rather than what he needs to do as a father then the lesson learned then the lesson learned Yeah. yeah yeah so yeah clark griswold that's my number two. Number two. All right. I'm curious. What is your number one? Um, it's out there. I don't know if you've even ever seen this movie from 1947. Oh, no. Um, famous actor William Powell. And you, I know you've seen him before. He's been in nearly 100 movies. Wow. Uh, and he plays uh, Clarence Day uh, from the movie uh, Life with Father. I have not seen that movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Nor that I think I've heard of that movie yeah no it's an oldie it's an oldie but a but a goodie um it's turn of the century he Mm -hmm. plays a a wealthy businessman and he he uh he orders and uh and uh his house and his home is all you know ship shape very orderly and uh sort of takes command of the family Mm. yet uh he's got a good heart and uh, they're just those situations of, you know, wife spending too much money or spending money <laughs> on the odd things or his son wants a new pair of, pair of trousers. And, and uh, there's a whole plot line uh, where uh, he's never been baptized. And so there's this whole subplot of, of uh, his wife thinking that he's going to go to hell because he's <laughs> never been baptized and kind of laughing it off. And it's a really funny movie. The dialogue's great. Huh. Um, uh, it's a really good movie. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, w- I would think that it's definitely a movie you got to see. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, nice. 1947, Life with Father. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check that out. All right, so you went classic with your old one. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen okay. I've, I've seen this movie several times. Yeah. I mean, I like it enough to like I'll watch it. You know, maybe every couple of years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I too went classic. Yeah. For my number one dad, and again, I feel like Clark is Griswold is probably the dad that I'll closest be, mm -hmm. but not the one I inspire to be. I want to be. Guess this. Darth, it's not Darth Vader. No, it's not Darth. And Vader. I thought you were going to throw Darth Vader into this mix. Yeah, but he's not a great dad. He's not a great dad, no. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of... He's worse than Arnold Schwarzenegger in uh, I mean, Jingle yeah, All the Way. He yeah. Did, yeah, he did chop off his son's hand. Yeah. Knowing that it was his son. Killed a lot of people. Killed a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Kids. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Not a good dad. Yeah. Anyways, right. however, I probably quote him the most to my kids. Yeah. I quote Darth Vader, so... Okay. Take that for what that's... <laughs> all right number one uh atticus finch to kill a mockingbird oh, all Gregory right Peck. oh okay i don't think you can find a better human being dad in that movie um yeah number one he just you know he's living in a time where he has to be the example to his kids mm -hmm. of you know, what is fair, what is right, what is moral, um, what is, what is justice and, um, and just wisdom, you know, um, this is one of those movies that, you know, I've seen Gregory Peck in other movies, but you know, if I was ever imagined who was Gregory Peck in real life, like it'd be hard for me not to assume that he was just like that. that. You're Atticus Finch, right? Yeah. Like a lot of people had a hard time about, you remember Michael Landon? How he played the angel, Highway to Heaven, mm. or Bonanza, or not Bonanza. Oh, yeah, it wasn't Bonanza. Yeah. But was the other one? Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. But I guess he was a completely different dude. Yeah. <laughs> than those characters he played. Um, but yeah, but yeah, so number one, yeah, if I could, you know, and two, like, you know, having his, him be there for his kids to help teach and to mold. And to grow them because, you know, the kids, they don't understand what's happening and they don't understand why things are the way they are. And of course they view things differently and but he's, he's there to like really bring that wisdom and like, you know, just because things are this way doesn't mean that's right. And I think that's a, that's a lesson for all, um, all dads need to do for their kids. So. All right. Well, do you have an honorable mention, Dad, that maybe did not make your list that you want to talk about? The dad from Christmas Story. Yeah, the old man. The old man. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Rising, frazzin, stickle, <laughs> stickle fiber. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Was he a great dad though? Yeah, he was a good dad. He was good because, like, dad. like I, I think we talked about that in yeah. our Christmas Story podcast episode. Uh, just the idea that. Now the whole movie, you don't think he's paying attention. Yeah. And you think that he's, you know, not, you know, can care less what his kid's thinking or saying, but he paid attention the whole time and yeah. got, him, got him the BB gun that he had wanted. Yeah. So that's yep. a good dad. The old man. And he made, you know, Christmas fun. Yep. So. All right. Well, that's it. That is our top five favorite dads for now. Could change. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But, um, hey. Happy Father's Day to you, Jim. Happy Father's Day to you. Hope uh, you have a good restful day and um, watch a good movie. And uh, you let us know what your top dads are. T let us know if you agree with our lists or which list was better or, uh, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, let us know. And, uh, all right, see you in the next one. See ya.